Ooh, baby, your face looking nice and clear. Um, how y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Happy Wednesday. Um, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I know you guys miss me. I've really been neglecting my, my YouTube channel. I don't know why I'm neglecting my YouTube channel. I really don't. Um, I come on here and post, um, because I like to post and stuff. Um, but I really just haven't put, been putting in any effort into these videos, especially when it comes to the thumbnail. Like, I don't know what it is. I just be real lazy when it comes to this YouTube shit. So I'm, I don't, I don't expect my subscribers to be flying through the roof, but I wanted to touch on a subject. Um... And I was recently watching, well, I have, I, I watched this YouTuber, I'm not going to say no names because I don't like to name drop, but, and she was talking about how she was flewed out by um, Kodak Black or whatever, and there's a, a video on YouTube um, talking about, well, there's a video on YouTube of of Kodak Black when he went live and basically he went live to show his ass you know about some chick that he flew it out there or whatever and the girl that he flew it out um you know she's she's okay looking um well some people might consider her to be a IG model or whatever but I'm not here to comment about her looks or whatever but um I've been hearing a lot of chicks that have um um had horror stories of being flewed out by these rappers and these athletes and stuff like that and only to basically just get played you know what i'm saying um and these are you know good looking women you know really pretty women you know getting flewed out by these rappers and for all that just to be shitted on, just to be disrespected, just to feel like, you know, you're basically a jump off. You're just only here to fuck. I only flew you here to fuck and all this type of bullshit. And I'm just like, well, if these chicks who are, you know, Instagram models and baddies and dime pieces or whatever, these chicks are getting played left and right by these guys and being disrespected and only to be treated like they're just a jump off and if these women are getting disrespected i know there ain't no hope for us average looking girls you know what i'm saying and i'm just like you know to hear a lot of these women these beautiful women getting played and talking about how these men um don't want to spend money on them don't want to take them on no dates you know just being you know cheap or whatever but i know the reason for that um um the the value of i don't want to want to say the p word because it sounds too it sounds too vulgar or whatever but the value of vagina has really gone down and it is women's fault it is our fault a hundred percent um i've spoke on this story well, I, I think I made a, 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 um, a YouTube video talking about, you know, when I lost my virginity. Um, I lost my virginity to um, an asshole. And from that time, you know, I did, I deeply regretted it um, because at the time, you know, I had low self-esteem. I didn't really have high self-worth. So I allowed this, I allowed this older man to woo me out of my drawers because I wanted to feel wanted at the time. And I got nothing out of it. I didn't get a date out of it. I didn't get no money. I didn't get my nails or my feet done. You know, he basically, you know, just smashed me and then cut me off. Um, and sometimes, you know, when I think about um, that experience, um, it makes me sad because I'm just like, you know, I basically gave it up to some asshole who only sh saw me as 
somebody to smash and he, you know, basically he never respected me but he definitely d didn't respect me because you know what woman gives up free 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 sex you know what i'm saying um no man respects a woman that gives up free sex you know what i'm saying they like the chase they like you know the competition um they like ha they like having to work for what they want especially when it comes to women um and you got too many women out here beautiful women you know just basically selling themselves short you know just giving up giving themselves away for free to these to these men out here and these men don't respect it so it's just like you know if i can get it if they can get a chick to you know come out their panties you know w without having to really do anything why should they have to work for a woman you know what i'm saying you know you have so many women especially black women that just have uh, very low standards they don't really demand nothing out of these men and you can't really blame these men for taking advantage of that but um all that will stop if you know women black women you know had more standards for themselves you know you just set a standard with like if you don't have what i want out of a man you don't get me you don't get no cookie you know what i'm saying i'm not even going to date you um but you know you have so many women out here you know that just have low standards and they're just willing to put up with any and everything just to prove that you know they have a man or whatever but um but you know you there's a lot of you know chicks out there talking about um how they were getting played left and right by these men you know just getting played you know not really getting anything out of them but you know you have so many men that sit there and they say well especially on like on dating sites or if you like if you're on dating apps or whatever they think that they can just get free sex or they can just ask a woman for ask a woman for sex but as soon as we ask for money or uh, we want to be wind and dine. It's a problem. But, you know, at the end of the day, you want me. You know, I don't want you. You want me. Um, but me, you know, that was a lesson. That was a lesson that I learned. And um, from now on, me personally, I just don't deal with men. I don't deal with men at all. Um, personally, I don't need you to take me on no date. I don't want, I don't need you to spend no money on me because I'm just focusing on myself. What I got to do for me, you know, to so say what's going to make me happy. And a man, a man, I won't say that a man can't make me happy, but the right man will make me happy. But it's just so many men out here that are just full of shit. And I'm not going to put a price on myself. And I know I'm kind of contradicting myself, but I'm not going to put a price on myself. I'm not out here selling my vagina. I'm not, I'm just not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know, I go out here and I get my own money and stuff like that. I can go out here and get it myself. So I don't need you to whine and dine me. I don't need to go on a date with a nigga, you know, so I can get a free meal when I can do that myself. If I want to go out to eat, I can take myself out to eat. Why do I need to deal with a man who I don't find attractive, who I don't plan on sleeping with? You know what I'm saying? Why do I need to put up with that nonsense just to be taken out to dinner? You know what I'm saying? Um, um, and I'm not saying that I don't like to be wine and dine. Yes, I do. But if your character is not up to up to my standards you don't have a nice personality you don't know how to treat women you're disrespectful i won't deal with you and i don't care if you got bill gates money i don't give a damn how much money you got. i don't give a damn how much money you put in there. i don't give a damn if you're trying to fly me out drive me out or whatever if i don't like your character if i don't like who you are as a person i don't want you and um, um but yeah I will talk to you guys another time.